This video is sponsored by Adobe Design to Print. Hi, my name is Lisa Kearney, and I'm going to show you a quick Photoshop hack or color trick. So let's say you have a client who's got multiple colored products that you need to change. The old way I used to do that, would I would painstakingly pick a color, mask, clip, path, whatever, to get to the final edge. So instead, here's what I'm going to suggest. Let's throw all those away and let's go for a quick way. So what you're going to do is you're going to go down to your add a adjustment layer icon here on the bottom and I'm going to pick hue saturation. What I'm then going to do is make sure I'm on the code for the hue saturation, not on the mask. And in fact, I often will just throw the mask away because I don't need it. What? Yeah, you don't need it. So now the next step you're going to do is you're going to go to your properties panel. And that you'll find under Window, Properties, down here in Photoshop. And you're going to click on the Auto Select icon. And what you're going to do is go click on that, make sure it's highlighted, and click on your item, your color, and Photoshop will say, hey, those are your greens. And what you then can do is take your hue slider and start shifting your hue to whichever color your client has requested. So in this case, we're going to slide toward the pinks. And once we get into the pink zone, what we then can do is click on the saturation slider and start bumping up the saturation. So in no time, look what we have. We have one color adjustment, no mask, no nothing. And let's say you want to tighten this up just a little bit more. If you'll notice in some of the areas, the color is not shifting. Do you see these sliders over here? You can go in and target a wider range of color that Photoshop will shift for you. So think about this. How much time can you save doing your color correcting this way for this particular kind of client? So imagine, one, you only have to shoot the product once. Two, you only have to retouch the product once. Three, no masking. How exciting is that? So hopefully this tip will find you happily changing colors quickly. It doesn't work for everything, but when it does, it is a dream. Happy Photoshopping.